Hey guys, so um, today I'm going to be doing a tutorial for this look. This is my everyday look, well, mainly on the weekends because I have school. If you'd like to see how I did this look, just keep on watching. Okay, so before we get started, I just want everyone to know that, first of all, I'm not a makeup artist, so I'm not the best at this stuff. So don't judge me, I'm just doing me, just doing my thing. You know, just doing, I just, doing what I usually do. <laughs> okay, and second of all, I don't have all the best, like, I don't have all the best makeup and I'm not a super rich girl, so I don't have, like, all this MAC and, like, stuff. I really want to get it, but, yeah, I don't have that for now, so don't judge my makeup if it's, like, not the best makeup, but it works for me, so that's all that matters. Okay, so let's get started. Um, okay, I'm going to be starting with my eyebrows, and I'm going to be using the Goof Proof Brow Pencil by Benefit. Oh dear. And it's in the shade number three. I don't know what that is. Um, it's kind of confusing. I know the shades are like weird, but it's just a brow, like a not a brow. It's a brown thing. using the smoky two-in-one gel liner eyes and brows by the body shop it's just in black but I normally do my eyeliner first because that way if if I mess up on anything then I don't have to like take off all my eyeshadow um, and I can just I don't know sort out my eyeliner and then later on I do my eyeshadow and then just go over it with my eyeliner again so that way it just makes life easier for everyone Okay, so I just use the little brush that's with it. <laughs> and I know you're not supposed to be doing this eye thing, but whatever. I'm gonna go move on to eyeshadow and I'm gonna be using my Too Faced Bon Bon palettes and first of all I'm gonna start out I'm just gonna use this brush it's just by it's called Revolution I don't know what it is to be honest just this is the brush um, and I am gonna be using satin sheets I'm gonna be using satin sheets from my crease to my brow. Just packing that on there. And yeah, kind of just blending it in. I don't really normally use like eyeshadow primers and stuff, but just go with the flow. Okay, so as you can not see, there's a shimmer. <laughs> there's a nice little shimmer there, not too much. Um, okay, moving on, I'm going to be using Mocha. And I'm just going to be using that for my crease. I'm just going to be using this brush. Just a brush. It's not that great. But... Okay, just putting that into my crease. Just 
focusing on the outer part of my, my crease. So we don't want to... And as you can see, I'm already getting eyeshadow on my eyeliner. But that doesn't matter because we're just going to go over it just now. So... I'm just going to be using this brush that we used earlier on. I'm just going to be blending it out. Now I am pretty much just using this brush again. This is my brush. Love it. I'm going to be using molasses chip. I think. Yep. Yeah, molasses chip. And I'm just going to be putting that on my lid. Just going to be packing that onto my lid. I'm just going to be taking a uh, marker once again and I'm just going to be going over that crease. Once again, those brows. I'm just going to be blending it out. Kind of just become like my um, everyday makeup. I used to just normally do the winged eyeliner, but now I've kind of just changed it up since I got this. <laughs> I got it recently when I went over to my dad in England. He lives in Birmingham. I can't say it, but yeah, um, yeah. So um, now we're gonna be taking. I can't really say it to be honest, but I'm gonna be taking this burgundy color, this reddish brownish color. I don't know. Okay, and then we're just gonna be using this to deepen up the uh, to deepen up the crease a little bit. I'm just gonna be going over my winged eyeliner just to fix it up a bit. So that we can get the kind of on fleek again. <laughs> and I'm just using my gel, my black gel, Elena. Yeah. See, you have a nice liner again. And you don't have to worry about doing all your eyeshadow and having to put in all that work and then just messing it up. So, I don't know, personally, I think this tip is great, but if you don't want to use it, you don't have to. I'm not making you listen to me. Um, I do not use foundation, just me. I don't know, I'm not a person for foundation. I do use concealer though, so I just prefer that. So, yeah. Um, Okay, so now I'm just gonna be wiping away that fallout. Oh, and I'm just using this brush. I don't know. Sorry, guys, if I can't name all the brushes and stuff. This is Revolution Makeup Revolution London. Okay, so now I'm gonna be using this new baby skin uh, instant pore eraser, and this is just I'm just gonna be using this primer. My face. I just put it um, in my concealer, my highlight areas, so that I just don't have those ugly pores showing. So I just use my finger. Okay. So now that we are primed and ready for concealer, let's do that. So now I'm just going to be using this concealer. I don't know, I just got it from um, a drugstore near us, so I don't really know. And you're done. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Um, okay, so now, once again, I'm just gonna be 
using the brush just to blend it all out. I have a sad story to tell because I did actually have a beauty blender and I don't know, I don't usually use like brushes for my skin. I just prefer like spongy stuff, like a beauty blender. And I had one and well I had it when I was over at my dad recently and um thing is I was kind of stuck there because of this whole long story and I missed my one flight and uh we couldn't there wasn't one until like the next Sunday so I was supposed to leave on a Friday and there wasn't one until the next Sunday so I was just waiting there and then all of a sudden my mom phones me and she's like can you get to the airport right now so I had to pack all my things super quickly to like try and rush to get to the airport and I forgot my beauty blender and I was like I just got it and it was the best thing ever and now it's gone hopefully I can get one soon so that's concealer done and ooh. I'm just gonna be using this contour kit. I got it from a clothing store to be honest. It's not that great. Um, and excuse my dirty mirror, but I'm just gonna be using this. I use it quite a lot, as you can see. I'm just gonna use that same brush just to set that concealer. So now that that's done, I'm just gonna be using this brush just kind of a cheapy brush but that's me a cheapy girl so I'm just gonna be using this to contour my nose because I have a the most disgusting nose uh, and if you're wondering why I'm holding it like yes because it's kind of broken now what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be finishing off the eyes because you know concealer first and then you finish off the eyes Okay, just gonna be using this brush again. And on the outer corner, I'm just gonna be using marker again. So just going right in there, smoking it out. I've done that I'm gonna be using molasses chip once again and in the inner corner over here I am going to just do that there <laughs> I am gonna be curling my eyelashes and then just adding mascara I don't really use um, fake eyelashes only for like special occasions and since this is just an everyday tutorial I'm just gonna be putting on mascara Mascara. Oh, um, I'm just I'm using the Max Factor X um, Clumpy Defy Extension uh, Extension Extension False Lash Effect, and this is just in black. Yeah, and it has like a little curved wand. Now, before I put mascara on my bottom lashes, I'm just going to go in with dark truffle over here just to darken up my lower lash line a little bit. I'm just going to be using the side of the brush. Oh, just got that right in my eye. <laughs> and I'm just going on the outer edge again, just right on my, like where my eyelashes begin. I don't know what that's called. Sorry. <laughs> okay, now that that's done. 
just gonna be putting that mascara on my bottom lashes. Okay, so now I'm just gonna be putting on highlight and I'm just gonna be using this Revlon Makeup Revolution London. Hmm, please match. I need notes now. Okay, and this is just the Beyond Radiance palette. It just has three pretty little colors and I'm just gonna be using this brush just to highlight and then I also just use my finger for like those small areas. So I'm just using the white one. Sometimes I mix them, but lately I've just been using just the white. Lastly, I'm just going to be using this Essence Extra 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 Long Last Team Lip Gloss and it is matte and I'm just going to be applying that. Okay, so this is the finished look. <laughs> um, yeah, so <laughs> just like a shimmery eye. So it's kind of like casual and kind of glam and I don't know, I just like it for my everyday makeup. Well not like everyday because I go to school so damn people won't let us wear makeup. Um, but yeah, so if you like this tutorial then please subscribe to my YouTube channel and please give it a thumbs up and thank you very much for watching.